Hello, I am Kat Woods. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to review this personal size edition of the CSB. So this is Christian Standard Bible from Holman. This is a little mini, and I want to call it a mini throughout the whole Bible because I already have this Bible in the large print. I'm going to do a comparison for you guys so you can see. The large print was actually gifted to me in 2018 for my birthday. So I love this Bible. I used it, reviewed it, did all the good stuff. So super excited to actually show you the mini one to it. They're super cute. The boxes are like identical. The Bibles itself are identical. So yeah. So I'm going to put this big boy over here for a minute. I'll go ahead and leave the large print um, in the description box below and in the comment section. So you can go ahead and check that one out too just for all my new subscribers. So this is what, well, here's the ISBN number. The back of the box. I really highly recommend this Bible, not only for the information, just for the cover, I mean the color, the colors that are in it. It is amazing. This size is perfect for on the go. So if you're like me, I love taking my Bibles with me on the go. But I also like having um, like study Bibles, whatever, you know, not just my daily reader, but also study Bibles. And I kid you not, this big one right here, I had taken, and this, this is a big boy. This is like my desk Bible. Um, I've taken it on the go quite a few times. The review, it was out in the cemetery. So <laughs> that is, it's, it's a big boy, literally a big boy. All right. So here's the two of them. Look at that. Look how cute the little mini one is. That is adorable. So you can really tell that there is a definitely a size difference. They are the same Bible, just One's large and one's a little mini. Okay, so we have, it is the um, faux leather. I like how they do their faux leather. It really looks like it, you can see like the dark highlights, um, the shadows. There is perimeter stitching. And we have this beautiful detail. Oh, I love it. You can just sit here and just like feel, I, I just love it. I love the detail work that Holman does with their Bibles. It does wrap around all of the center of the Bible. Now on the spine of the Bible, we have CSB, which is the Christian Standard Bible, and then Holman. It is a smith sewn Bible. Then we have matching head and tail bands, but they have a gold or a light tan color and white. We have two ribbon markers, a brown and a black. We have gold gilding. The pages are have this nice, beautiful, um, I guess, corners. It's curved in. Not all of them are curved in. A lot of the times they come in and they meet up at a square, but this is beautifully done. All right, so let's jump in. The inside of the Bible, it is a paste down liner. We have the presentation page. And I do love Holman's, I guess I could call it sort of like a motto. All of their Bibles, sorry, I'm not going to pet you, stop. All of their um, Bibles will have this circle with the arrow pointing up. So it's pointing to like the true north. It's just, it represents how their um, the CSB translation is a faithful translation. And I, I really do. I really love how this translation reads especially if you're coming from say like the nlt or niv this is a beautiful one that kind of blends the two together all right so here's the copyright page they only have two they have the gray overboard and then the mahogany which is the one i have right now
we have the introduction to the study Bible. And then right here, we're going to look at the features. So the features of the little mini. Here, you're going to have to get down. Okay. He wants me to talk to him and only pay attention to him. I really can't do that right now. These word studies right here at number eight, there's a lot of them and they're really, 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 really good. They have been really helpful when you're sitting there and like, wait, what am I, what is this word? It tells you the Greek and Hebrew. Then back up just a little bit. Now for it being a small Bible, the print is kind of small, but um, if you don't have problems with reading, I highly recommend this this Bible. I'll go ahead. I'm just going to flip through here. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the key features up here because I'm going to point them out as we go through the Bible. So I don't want to focus too much on them. If you want to look up a certain map or a chart, you can find it in this index at the beginning. Now the Hebrew word studies you can actually find look check this out this is super super interesting so if you want to look up a word and then you can find the Hebrew word for it and then it gives you the chapter and the book number and also the page number so if you just want to look up hey right here walk we'll go to Genesis 24 on page 45 that is cool I like how they did that a lot of the time these, when they want to refer to something, they'll just give you the chapter and book number. They don't really put in the page number, so that's cool. Alright, so highly recommend reading all this helpful information in the front of the Bible. Um, especially this one right here. How to read and study the Bible. Everyone opens up their Bible and they're super confused on what to do. This one actually breaks it into different steps for you to follow. It gets your mindset into understanding how to grasp what you're reading and really obtain it. This is where I left off. And this is reading the Bible for transformation. Our main goal and reason for reading the Bible. Oh, that was my little flag. <laughs> That's where I left my other spot where I was reading. Okay. There's just so much information, but the best part of this is the color. So every 66 books of the Bible will have a full page um, picture like this photo. But there is something that I will say about this, the Holman um, full page Bibles. They will come together kind of stuck so do plan on spending a little time before you get the bible sticking or sitting down and unsticking the full page um, photos i don't know why they do it's just they're they're known for that i don't know if it's the gilding um is the reason but i went through and after you unstick them they won't get like back stuck together so you don't have to worry about that you just have to go through that tedious little process and undo all of them. So, but it's worth it. And the best way that I found to do that, whenever the two pages are sticking, don't try to, um, oh, it's just, maybe I'll have to make a video over that. But okay, so I don't want to get sidetracked and start talking about something different. So the introductions to each 66 books of the Bible, there's a lot of inf information that can help you understand the book that you're reading. So we have, let me let you skim through here really quickly. This is over Genesis. If you want to pause it, you can go ahead and read it. Then we have the outline. What you're going to find. Then down below, we have a um, oh, well, what is this called? A timeline. There we go. <laughs> it's a timeline. All right, let's get you in closer here. 
want you to be able to see the Bible really, really good. That's why I like taking you guys off the tripod so you get a real good look at it. All right, so it is a two-column format, which I really, really love in study Bibles. I don't know, my brain can just understand things better when it's not like a full page. Because the ESV, it's a, it's a single column. So you have to, to me, take up a lot of information when it's broken down. I, I tend to understand it and better to grasp. I don't know why. That's just the way my mind works. So if you're really struggling with um, single columns, try the two double columns and it might help you too. Okay, so we have um, the two columns like I mentioned. And they, it is in an 8 point font. I don't think it's an 8.5. I do believe it's just an 8 and it does not say... Yeah, it just says actual size. That doesn't really help. But to me, it looks like an 8. Uh, and then down here it looks maybe like a 6. It's even smaller. I'll go ahead and take you off so you can take a look at it, what I'm talking about here. We will have headers. They will be in the bold. The chapter number will be in this beautiful orange color. There will be footnotes. And then we have our study notes. You can really see where the chapter and verse number is by this beautiful orange color. And there's just so much information. I mean, just on verse 1 itself, it's just all of this. This is just verse 1. So, we have center column references right here. But it's very, very, very readable for that size of a font. And so you have to think, this is this is a Bible um, that you could just take on the go with you. I mean, it, this is like, it, it's a mini. It's a mini Bible. So it's not really meant for like hours and hours of deep study. It's just good to have something like this. If you're talking to like a new Christian and you're just, when you have this much proof to show them, I, I don't know. I think it's, it's, it's amazing. All right. So here is one of these keywords. So this is over, I don't even know what the word yom is. Hmm. So we have this, see, oh, okay. It's a day. I was like, what word would that be? Well, that's the Hebrew word. So the Hebrew word would be in the orange color. And then the English word is day or time. And this is where you can find them at. And then this is the meaning and other verses. Super, super, super cool. You will get photos. So you actually get photo prints and you will get like digital um, where they're like people have sketched out different things and different pictures of obviously full maps this is what i was talking about like the digital so they're not actually a photo but it's just like a digital like, like a print almost but it really helps you understand get excited about what you're reading especially for those who don't really have a good imagination Having these pictures, oh, it, it makes it so much easier because the Bible, it, it takes some, it takes a minute for you to really understand what you're reading. You have to reread it and reread it again before it really sinks into. Oh, okay, that's what it was meaning. I love having the maps right here to where you don't have to flip in the back of the Bible. Very, very, very helpful. You get charts. So this is Abraham's full family tree. All right, so let's get for a little bit further on in. Is are you trying to say something? Of course not. He just wants to bump my arm. He sees my arm just floating up, holding a phone. And if it's not focused on him. Okay, let's get in the book of Psalms. I do like sharing Psalms. I've been in Psalms for a minute, but just trying to show the beginning of it. Okay. Another full picture. It will have a timeline and all the good stuff. We're not going to fight that. Oh, yeah. 
so I'm pretty sure you want to see everything side by side oh look at this so <laughs> this is a huge difference oh my goodness I wonder if I can if it's easy to find sorry stop can't be bumping my hand around okay perfect so look at the difference here I will say it, it's amazing and my preference you don't have to do it but if you have the means get both of these Bibles so you can have one to keep at your desk for deep study one to take to church with you um, a quick Bible study if you're meeting up with a couple of friends uh, it's just it's it is so and, and everything matches like okay the page numbers match perfectly um, it everything matches up it matches it literally matches up to oh, it's just it's so perfect so this should be a ten and a half maybe eleven for the large and then here is the eight it's a little bit more bolder to the large print I do apologize if it's real shaky like I said sorry it's not making this easy I did want to share both of them together so you can just see see the difference there is a huge difference All right, continuing on through. Now getting over to the New Testament, it won't be a red letter. It still will be a black letter. There is, I think, in between um, the Testaments, I think there's something small. I don't think there's anything super big. Oh, right here. So there's just a couple of pages in between. And they're going to be sticky. So give you more history information. I mean, that's their money. Just so much knowledge, so much information. Now all of this is on a light gray color paper. So they did change it up, you know, a little bit different from the normal white paper that they have. So you could tell this is going to be the paper and the information over the history in between the Old Testament and the New Testament. That's pretty cool. Okay, here is the New Testament. Everything's identical. I mean, ooh, look at that. That's perfect. Oh, no, it is red letter. Oh, I don't remember it. Oh, yeah, it is. I'm so glad I checked. The large print is red letter, too. Ooh. Now we get to find it, because I didn't check this out the first time. So, because the large is a bit darker, um, the red, this is a better red by far. Um, yeah. It's just showing up a little bit lighter on, on the video, but it isn't that light as it is in the video. This isn't a bad, this isn't like a pink. This is more kind of, it kind of like purplish almost. Yeah, and, and like in life, in real life, it really has like a purple tone. So, which is, will be better because that pink color, it makes it so hard to read. The paper quality is amazing. There's, there's a little bit of shadow, but it's not anything that's going to be disruptive. That will have black and red on both sides. Very, 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 very beautiful. And then the large print. Now, whenever you see the bold, see how this, this isn't like an accident. They will darken up either the black or the red whenever they're referring to the Old Testament. So it's not like it's a mistake or anything. I thought that at first when I seen it. I was like, oh, why is this part right here darker? But it's just referring to the Old Testament. Oh, that's so cool. I did not know it was a red letter. I love red letter Bibles. It 
And there's just, like I said, so much information. I mean, look at the study notes, you guys. So much. All right. This is starting to be 20 minutes. Quit touching the phone, son. All right. In the back here, we do have, there was a plan. Oh, it looks like a couple of plans. We have the concordance. Well, that wasn't very helpful. Well, I'm trying to do everything with one hand, and it's extremely hard. Okay. Extremely difficult. There it is. Okay, what really happened to the apostles? So, that's interesting. I never thought about that. What happened to the apostles after? Okay, that's there's like a couple, four or five pages of that. Then we have the weights and measures. Then on the concordance, we have a three-column concordance. And then I know I seen, yes. So we have a 52 week scripture memory plan. Oh, so it's gonna help you memorize scriptures. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Oh, that is so cool. I thought it was a reading plan. Oh, it's just really sticking. I was just able to go through it the first time. You all seen it. Now, because I'm doing everything with one hand, I can't even separate the pages. That's the only thing I wish Holman would fix, is how much you have to fight the, their paper. And it's because of the gilding. It's that gilding that they use. Yeah. I thought, I, I thought there was a reading plan. Oh, there is. See, I thought I was going crazy. All right, so there's a concordance, and here is a reading plan. I must have just skipped it. So there's a three-year reading plan. Is that up on top? A daily word in a year? So it's a three-year, one-year, and probably a two-year in between those two. I am just not going to make you all sit there and fight. No, we're not going to do that. So <laughs> that's what I'm, I'm guessing. Then we have the full page maps. I do like Holman maps. They're really bright, vibrant, super, super, super easy to read. I do like their maps. And they're on cardstock, but they're not like on the shiny cardstock. Very, very, very beautiful. All right. And then that's the end of the Bible. That's it. Okay. If you do have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. I do love communicating with you all. Remember, be a creative tool in our Father's art box today. I love you all. I'll talk to you all later.